Hello everyone, welcome back to Booked with a capital D. My name is Diane. Before we get started, I just want to say hello to all 15 of my subscribers, especially the new ones. I want to say uh, thank you so much for taking the, the time for clicking the subscribe button or leaving a comment. It always brings a smile to my face every time I see a new subscriber or, or a new comment. Uh, so I just want to say thank you very much for joining me and I hope you enjoy your stay here. For today's episode, I decided to go over the books I am currently reading and thus may turn into future episodes. Let's get started. Right now, I am more than halfway through The Red Necklace by Sally Gardner, and it is a children's novel that takes place during the 1789 French Revolution. Not the Les Miserables one, you know, the one that actually succeeded. I have hit a few walls within this book. I've really struggled to finish it. I, I've had this book for over a month now. But you know what? I am more than halfway across the river, so I keep telling myself I gotta keep swimming. In order for me to get to the end of this book, I have uh, acquired the help of Tom Hiddleston's sexy British voice. I've downloaded the audiobook in which he narrates. A lot of you might know Tom Hiddleston as Loki from the Avengers movies. His reading is definitely helping me get closer and closer to the end. I, I'm definitely going to make a review out of The Red Necklace. I definitely have a few interesting things to say about this book. Next on the list is John Dies at the End by David Wong. Wow, talk about spoilers. I don't think I will be able to finish it. I borrowed this book around pretty much around the same time as The Red Necklace and I've only gotten up to chapter 3 and in spite of all the crazy things that have happened so far within those early chapters, I am still yet to be engaged, which is a little disappointing considering uh, the book's crazy premise. I think Supernatural, if it was on a combination of LSD and hallucinogenic mushrooms, and you would have this book. It's not as if the book is badly written, just the genre and the premise is just so outside of my comfort zone, and I think the humor is going right over my head, uh, is the reason why I'm not enjoying it, which is a shame because David Wong, I believe, is the chief editor for the very popular comedy website Crack.com and I've already read a few of his uh, articles that I found really, really funny, so it's a shame that I don't find his book to be very entertaining. I may still give it another chance, put my shoulder to the wheel, and try to get through a few more chapters before cutting it from my list. The next book I am currently reading is actually a book that I've already read before. It is Sydney Chambers and the Shadow of Death by James Runcie. This book is pretty brand new. It was released around last year and it tells the story of a mild-mannered vicar in a small England town called Grantchester during the 1950s. He is then pulled into all these criminal uh, situations where he is then forced to play detective and get to the bottom of things and find the culprit. I was really surprised at how engrossing this book is. It's not this giant convoluted epic adventure. In spite of its smallness, I, I found it really really engaging and one of the more enjoyable reads of last year so I'm definitely going to make an episode out of this one. Technically, I have not started reading High Society by Ali Carter yet. I know that this is a very popular book among the booktubing community. And both uh, the summary and the female leads sound really, really cool and definitely sounds like something up my alley. So I really can't wait to get started on this one. And another book from the library, this one's a little bit different from all the rest, and it is Bill Pete 
an autobiography. I guarantee you that even though his name may not sound familiar, he has had an influence on your childhood, if not a big one. I specifically borrowed this book uh, because I really want to make a book review out of it. As you can tell, this definitely does not look like your everyday autobiography. If you look through the pages, not only has Bill Pete uh, written about his life, but he's also illust illustrated it for us. And it's just a really beautiful, engrossing book about this really interesting and talented man and the contributions he's made to movies and children's storybooks. So I really can't wait to talk about him. And last but not least, I recently received a uh, courtesy notice from my library that The Diviners by Libra Bray is available for me to pick up. I read and watched some really great reviews about this book, so I really can't wait to get started on that one as well. Please let me know if any of these books interest you and if you want me to turn them into a future episode, I will definitely put that on my priority list. So that is all for today's episode uh, at Booked with a capital D. I hope you enjoyed your stay. My name is Diane, and until the next page flip, I am signing off. Bye!